न्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर यू दी एवरेज लेंथ ऑफ अ मेन्स्ट्रल साइकिल इज अबाउट ए ट्वेंटी एट डेज बी फोर्टीन डेज सी टेन डेज एंड डी फिफ्टी टू डेज well the reproductive cycle that you find in the females of primates is called as the menstrual cycle the reproductive cycle that you find in non primates is called as the estrus cycle okay now the menstrual cycle is nothing but the combination of a uterine cycle and the ovarian cycle and the average duration of the menstrual cycle is about 28 days this is the normal length but it can vary from person to person due to various reasons in fact some women it lasts as maximum as 35 days okay so what you see here is just a diagrammatic depiction of the menstrual cycle a normal menstrual cycle which lasts for about 28 days now the menstrual cycle can be explained or rather it can be very clearly described in different phases the first phase is the menstrual phase or the bleeding phase the second phase is the follicular phase the ovulatory phase and finally the luteal phase okay so for this question the average length of a menstrual cycle is about the answer is a option a that is 28 days you can eliminate b c and d a is the right answer a fill in the blanks question for you the menstrual cycle is controlled by hormone secreted by dash a ovaries only b uterus only c anterior pituitary only d ovaries and anterior pituitary well the menstrual cycle is controlled by various hormones secreted by the hypothalamus the anterior pituitary gland and the ovaries okay so i'm going to explain it to you a little bit in detail now the hypothalamus secretes the gonadotropin releasing hormones in short we call it as gnrh this acts upon the anterior pituitary gland and stimulates it to secrete the two gonadotropins the first one being the follicle stimulating hormone or the fsh and the second one being luteinizing hormone or lh now follicle stimulating hormone fsh follicle so this hormone helps in the development of the follicle that is found lining in the ovary now this fsh acts on the ovary and helps in the development of the follicle that is the maturation of the follicles primary follicle becomes secondary secondary becomes tertiary tertiary becomes the graafian follicle and the follicles produce estrogen the female sex hormone now what does estrogen help in apart from the other roles that estrogen plays estrogen helps in rebuilding the endometrium of the uterus why do you think it has to be rebuilt well the endometrium is shed during the menstrual phase or the bleeding phase of the menstrual cycle so it has to be rebuilt and that is done under the influence of the hormone estrogen so this is the role of follicle stimulating hormone or fsh what does lh do now luteinizing hormone acts on or rather it helps the graafian follicle to undergo uh, it helps it to rupture and release the secondary oocyte or rather it influences the phenomenon of ovulation ovulation is nothing but the release of the secondary oocyte from a graafian follicle and this graafian follicle now gets converted into a yellow structure called as the corpus luteum now what is so important about the corpus luteum well this corpus luteum secretes a hormone called as progesterone commonly we call it as the pregnancy hormone because it helps in maintaining pregnancy how well it helps in preparing the uterus how it prepares the endometrium of the uterus the wall of the uterus for a possible implantation of the embryo did you get it so all this takes place under the influence of progesterone and all this happened because of the hormone luteinizing hormone so 
Like I told you, progesterone helps in maintaining the uterus. The embryo gets implanted in the endometrium and hence, progesterone is crucial for the entire period of pregnancy. So the hormones that regulate the menstrual cycle are secreted by both the anterior pituitary gland and the ovaries from the options, right? So you can eliminate A, B and C and arrive at D. D is the right answer. See, A is correct, right? Now, A, we can't select A because A says ovaries only. C says anterior pituitary only. Anyway, uterus is out of the question. So, the correct answer is D. You eliminate A, B and C. A fill in the blanks question for you. In the absence of pregnancy, corpus luteum dash. A becomes active and secretes FSH and LH. B produces lots of oxytocin and relaxin. C starts to degenerate. D is maintained by progesterone. Well, what is corpus luteum? See, corpus luteum is nothing but what the graphene follicle gets transformed into after ovulation. See, graphene follicle is a mature follicle. When there is a high level of luteinizing hormone, the graphene follicle ruptures and releases the secondary oocyte and this graphene follicle now gets converted to what is called as the corpus luteum, the yellow structure. Now this corpus luteum secretes a very important hormone called as progesterone. This progesterone hormone is called, also commonly called as the pregnancy hormone why? It helps in maintaining the pregnancy. The entire duration of pregnancy is maintained by this hormone. And how does it do it? Well, that is because it helps in maintaining the endometrium of the uterus for a possible implantation of a fertilized egg, that is the embryo. And it has to be implanted throughout the period of gestation, right? That is throughout the period of pregnancy. So the progesterone helps in maintaining the pregnancy. Now, this graphene follicle, I told you, gets converted, transformed into the corpus luteum and that helps in maintaining the endometrium of the uterus. Now, suppose pregnancy does not take place. The corpus luteum starts to degenerate. It starts to degenerate. And in fact, it gets converted into a white structure called as corpus albicans. Now, when corpus luteum starts to degenerate, what is going to happen? There is going to be an abrupt, sudden drop in the level of progesterone. Immediately what is going to happen, the endometrium which was getting all ready for a possible, uh, you know, implantation starts peeling off, you know, sloughing off from the uterine wall and it starts getting discarded, which marks the beginning of the menstrual phase or the bleeding phase of the menstrual cycle. So, can you look at this diagram? So, <clears throat> here the corpus luteum secretes, you can see here, right? So, corpus luteum is what? The yellow structure that is formed from the graphene follicle. So, this corpus luteum secretes large amounts of progesterone which maintains the entire period of pregnancy, okay? And as the pregnancy, you know, proceeds or rather as the pro uh, pregnancy is continuing, the progesterone is maintained. Now, suppose there is no pregnancy. What is going to happen is that the corpus luteum will now start degenerating. There is a drop in the level of progesterone. Corpus luteum gets transformed to corpus albicans. The level of progesterone drops and then what happens? The endometrium is peeled out and it is discarded. That becomes the beginning of the menstrual phase or rather the bleeding phase. So the entire phase where the corpus luteum was secreting the progesterone is called as a luteal phase. It's also called as a secretory, secretory phase. Okay. Now all the other hormones that you came across, FSH and LH, it is not secreted by the corpus luteum. It is secreted by the anterior pituitary gland. These are gonadotropins. Oxytocin, it is produced by the hypothalamus. 
and relaxin is a hormone that is necessary for childbirth it is produced by both the ovary and the placenta okay so the right answer for this question in the absence of pregnancy corpus luteum starts to degenerate c is the right option you can eliminate a b and d c is the right answer let's now look at this new question for you which among the following hormones is produced in females only during pregnancy that's the catch there only during pregnancy which other hormones that are produced a is it estrogen b is it progesterone c is it hcg or human chorionic gonadotropin or is it d all of these well estrogen and progesterone are produced in females right from the time of puberty that is when sexual maturity uh, they reach that is around the age of 10 to 14 and it continues throughout the reproductive phase of the females now estrogen estrogen is secreted by the granulosa cells of the follicles right so it is secreted by the ovary what does it help in it plays a major role in the development of the secondary sexual characters of females like the development of the breasts the rounded shape uh, a high pitched voice right these are some of the characters and it also helps in oogenesis estrogen also helps in rebuilding the endometrium of the uterus now what about progesterone progesterone is a pregnancy hormone which helps in maintaining the pregnancy and it is produced by the corpus luteum of the ovary okay now the hormone that is produced only during pregnancy is the human chorionic gonadotropin hcg and this is secreted by the placenta a placenta is formed only when there is pregnancy otherwise it cannot form now what is placenta the placenta is an organ that connects the growing fetus with the uterine wall of the mother it is like a connection a communication system between the developing fetus and the mother so hcg is produced only during pregnancy as the placenta is formed only when the woman is pregnant now the placenta provides nourishment helps in respiration and in excretion other than all these it also behaves as an endocrine gland secretes hcg it secretes hpl the human placental lactogen it helps in secreting estrogen and progesterone so from the options the hormone produced only remember children only during pregnancy is hcg so your correct option is c for this question you can just eliminate a b and d c is your right answer let's now look at this new question select the correct option with respect to hormone and its site of production a gonadotropin releasing hormone from corpus luteum b follicle stimulating hormone from hypothalamus c estrogen from ovarian follicles d progesterone from the pituitary the gonadotropin releasing hormone or gnrh as it is commonly called is secreted by the hypothalamus and this acts upon the anterior pituitary gland and stimulates it to secrete the gonadotropins now there are two gonadotropins which are the gonadotropins the fsh and the lh fsh is follicle stimulating hormone and lh is luteinizing hormone so follicle stimulating hormone is secreted by the anterior pituitary gland under the influence of gnrh that is gonadotropin releasing hormone estrogen is secreted by the follicles of the ovary now estrogen which is the female sex hormone helps in the development of the secondary sexual characters of the female as well as oogenesis that is a formation of the female gamete estrogen also helps in rebuilding the endometrium of the uterus okay progesterone which is also called as a pregnancy hormone is produced by the corpus luteum of the ovary and progesterone helps in maintaining the pregnancy so we also call it as the pregnancy hormone so for this question 
Select the correct option with respect to the hormone and its site of production. Gonadotropin releasing hormone, what secretes that? The hypothalamus. So A is wrong. FSH secreted by the anterior pituitary gland. So B is wrong. C, estrogen is secreted by the ovarian follicle. C is right. D, progesterone is secreted by the corpus luteum. So D is incorrect. So the C is the right answer.